guys, it's me Matthew, of course, of course, and I'm back with some more Kerbal Space Program. If I remember correctly, I have a Kerbin, a Kerbal, whatever they're called, stuck over here with almost no chance of escaping and making their way back. Let's see, I don't have much fuel, and I don't really know how to fix this. Um, so, I need to curve my uh, trajectory into an orbit around the moon. And then try to blast myself back to uh, Kerbin, which is the planet, I believe. That is what it's called, right? Kerbal Space Center. I'm assuming it's Kerbin. But, uh,. Let's see, I think when I get close to the apoapsis, if I were to go retrograde and get myself into an orbit, the simplest orbit that I can get into, I think I can possibly project myself um maybe <clears throat> huh I could probably end up using the moon to project myself to Minmus at some point considering that it is like perfect right there not really actually I'd have to wait for him to go all the way around again Um, I really don't have much fuel, fuel left, so I'm very, uh, concerned. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna turn off SAS and just see what happens if I were to. Please tell me I'm not gonna, uh, yep. I got stuck in the sun's orbit. So let's load back. Three hours, 56 minutes. 57. into a pretty nasty situation here. Now, if I were to time warp here, I got myself into an orbit around Kerbin, but... <clears throat> Let's see if I get interfered by anything. Nope, I was not. So in that case, let's go back to the apoapsis. And let's check out that periapsis. <clears throat> I only have 6.7 liquid fuel to uh, achieve anything here. Um, but I believe I'd want to power towards my retrograde. Yep, 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 yep. Shit. Okay, well, let's load again. Tracking 
gas station. Moonlander, fly. And then retrograde again. And then once it's there, speed up until I'm at the periapsis. A little bit ahead, <clears throat> but that's fine. I have a feeling the more that I get into a better orbit around the moon, there might be a better... no. That's an even bigger orbit than I was in last time. Jeez. Whoops, I clicked out of the map, or out of the game. Yeah, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much screwed here. Yep. I'm gonna try one more time. Is there anything else that I can do? I'm gonna lower my uh, armrests. way. Oh, no, wrong way. Wrong way. I guess I can try this and see if it, if it starts working, I might end up I'm cutting through the moon. Yeah. I was hoping that I'd be able to move it to the other side of the moon to see if maybe I can just do a very weird flyby of sorts. Um, but clearly, I was very wrong. <laughs> oh man, I'm 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 so fucked here. I don't want to lose this spaceship because it has Cat Guard and Bob on it. It's the last people I want to lose. Especially since Bob's my only scientist and I don't want to have to buy another one. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. How about if I started doing this at this point on the uh, projected path? What would happen? It seems to be moving it, but only slightly. It's not enough. Let's just see what would happen. <laughs> The sun's orbit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Not cool. Imagine if it perfectly brings me right back. That would be amazing. If I just, I go into a perfect orbit around Kerbin all of a sudden. I mean, that's not gonna happen, but 
I can dream, can I? I think I can. Oh yeah, I'm far away from carbon now. I'm my own planet. I'm doing a carbon Eve Moho dress. Elo Jewel. Yeah, well, mm -mm. <laughs> that's just not gonna work for me. Oh shit, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think my best bet is to just leave them in an orbit around the moon and hope that one day I can rescue them, but I don't know how long they can live out here um does it have like an oxygen limit doesn't seem to i don't know what determines how long carbon kerbals can live out in space but i think my only real chance here is to get them in the best orbit that I can around the moon. And I, I think they're pretty safe here. Um, I don't think their orbit will be interrupted at all. Um, probably not, at least. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have any other choice, really, than to just leave them out there and just make sure that they are on an orbit uh, that is not going to send them off into the sun or something. <laughs> that would suck. Well, they have a lot of science, so I've really screwed myself here. Rescue. <laughs> oh man, I'm so fucked. I can't upgrade the tracking station. I can't accept any more of these. If I were to upgrade it, I would run out of money. I'd have 7,000 left. So I'm just gonna have to uh, cancel this contract, which will lose me money, but. It's the only real option that I have. Uh, orbit around Kerbin. Hmm. I think I could do this. Um, rescue, test error, on an escape trajectory. Um, solid fuel booster in flight over. Kerbin, small landing gear splash down at Kerbin. I can do that one. I don't know if it's worth it though. Uh, fuck it. I mean, it's easy. It's simple. It can make me twelve grand for some reason. So I might as well. I don't need anything. Uh, special for this. Um, let's just put on a flea. Some special winglets. No, no. Basic fins. They'll probably just break anyways. Uh, gotta put Valentina. And then I need the landing gear. Oh, wait. Okay, I have to uh, test this landing gear. Hopefully it will uh, start retracted. Hopefully that will um, survive. 
be packed into the water. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Save. Uh, no. Never mind. Launch. And then I'm just going to go to the water. And SAS just because I can. Very simple job. Speed up time. Wow. Holy crap, I actually got pretty far. And then I have to wait until we're splashed down. And then I can run the test. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Run test. And it's finished. Recover vessel. I'm just gonna have to do all the easy jobs that I can. Uh, surveys. Near sight. Went above, above, above. Uh, how much will this get me? It'll get me a decent amount of reputation, which I'll probably need. Um, it's not that much for how much I'm going to have to spend to get out there. I don't even know how I'd do that. That never expires, that's good. Now that's a little bit better. Orbit around Kerbin, orbit around Kerbin. This one wants a suborbital space flight, but this one doesn't yet. You have to do that to get him up there in the first place. Um, well, that is quite a bit of money. I'll accept this one, do that, and then I'll probably uh, speed up time to uh, try to get a new list of missions to complete. So I'm going to want a crew cabin. Welcome aboard Highfield, Kerman, and Carol Kerman. I like how everyone's related. I've never seen one that isn't named Kerman. Uh, I don't think I need to take any science with me. I think that'd be a bad idea. Let's put a heat shield right there. And four of these. It's better to be safe than sorry. I think... Uh, Two extra parachutes wouldn't be a bad idea. And then I will need a decoupler. Then fuel. Not a lot. I think that'll do with a terrier. I'm actually going to go for a different design. Yeah, and then another decoupler. Um, hmm. I could do the skipper thing again, but I think that's a little stupid. <laughs> Fun, but stupid. Let's just do one large fuel tank with a reliance. Um, and then. I have a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's an absolutely terrible one, but we will find out now, won't we? 
uh, attached to that decoupler, I'm going to put just a hammer right there. And I will put a bunch of radial decouplers right about here with four thumpers. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Now that's aligned properly. Now I want these to be lower. Uh, that's not what I want. That's better. And aerodynamic nose cones. How much do these slumpers cost? 850 each. Hmm. This is going to cost me 15,000, 16,000 if I round up. Hopefully that's, uh, hopefully I'll make back a lot more than that. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to take back quite a bit. Yeah, that's, I'm going to lose at least 11 grand or so. Um, possibly more, because I'd probably end up using the, uh, parachutes. The extra parachutes, that is. Um, I don't know if those would get refunded or not, if I land with them. But we will find out. Uh, orbit. Orbital tourist. Uh, actually... Orbital Cruiser, there we go, save, and let's see if this works out, <clears throat> maybe it will, maybe it won't, it probably won't, but you know, we'll try, we'll try our best, so I just want to launch and go at a slight angle. Press C to make sure that I'm going to be going full throttle. You know what I forgot? I forgot any form of control. Let's put on some winglets. I'm going to want to put on at least four right here. How much do these cost? 640 each. Yeah, that is rather expensive. Um, I don't know how much control I would get from putting them at the top, but I know the farther the uh, farther down they are, I think the more control I'll get of the rockets. Um, but we'll see. We will find out. The only real way to figure out everything when you're like me, and not super smart or anything like that, is to just do it and see what the results are. And then you can decide on whether or not you regretted your decisions. Most of the time you'll probably find that you did, but you wouldn't have known if you didn't try. But you'll have wished that you didn't. Such is life. soon. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I could have probably added struts to this, but hopefully it's not a big deal. Let's see if I can just nudge it right 10 degrees. I think that's 10 degrees. I'm not sure. If it's not 10, then it's probably 20, but I think it's only 10. I think every one of those smaller lines is 5, and every big line is 10, but I'm not exactly sure. But it is 
is pushing me forward. And I'm going to try to keep control of this. And then detach. Once I reach around, <laughs> reach around, once I get to about 70,000, slow down time and full blast, hopefully we have enough fuel and everything to do this. I'm not sure if we do, but uh, we will find out now, won't we? I am far from a rocket scientist. Well, we are getting there. Hopefully the Terrier will have enough to finish the job. This is increasing quite a lot, but I'm not seeing a periapsis yet. Come on. I need enough fuel to get into orbits and then get back down. I don't like going into the orange, but I feel like I need to. I need to get above. 70,000 to be considered in orbit. And there we go. Now all of that is finished. Um, I need to get in the apoapsis to uh, revert. Well, to, uh, yeah, to reduce the periapsis. Uh, I think down to 30,000 is one of the safer areas to go. <clears throat> I'm not sure. And prograde. It is prograde. Wait, no, it's retrograde. What am I doing? Yeah, I have plenty. I only needed to get down below 70 anyways. And that should be enough. Just remove that. Uh, we can enable the parachutes already. Turn off SAS. Get rid of stage view. Um, this is probably going to eat up electricity. But it's going to keep my crew and the tourists alive. I wish I could activate them all at once with one button, but you know, one day I'll figure out how to do that. Okay, we've entered atmosphere. Uh, SAS retrograde. Turn SAS off. Turn it back on for just a little bit, just to make sure I stay stable. Stable. And speed up. Activate radiators. It's eating up power, but hopefully <laughs> Jesus. Hopefully I can slow down enough. slow down enough here. Oh 
Okay, I did. Beautiful. I was about to be very upset. <laughs> Shut down radiators. Oh wait, it doesn't even matter. I ran out of electric charge. But it worked. I completed the mission. Hopefully, I will have made enough money to offset the, the cost it uh, costed me to get them up into space in the first place. And then eventually, I suppose, I can keep making a tourist business out of getting people into orbits. Um, and then taking them down. But it depends on how much money I can make from doing that. And how much it costs to get them up there in the first place. Recover vessel. And... And... Okay. No science. Um... 2,519 from recovered parts. So, not much. Um... Reputation... Uh, didn't really increase much. They advanced to level one. <laughs> I don't even know how to read that reputation bar, to be completely honest with you. Um, and liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. No, thank you. Conduct temperature surveys of the moon. <laughs> You are funny. Suborbital trajectory over the moon. Wow, that is worth a lot. Those get quite a bit of money. If only I knew how to actually do that. Sadly, it actually takes skill. Something I don't have when it comes to this game. Atmospheric below, below, below. Um, I could probably do this. Yeah, I think I can do that mission. Uh, let's go to the map real quick. Tracking station. And it looks like I need to go over here. Crap, that is far away. I'm guessing I took the one that's all the way over there, not the ones that are over here. That's below, that's above, okay, so I probably took these then. Um, elite facility. Uh, that's just to make sure, yeah. Uh, so that shouldn't be far away. Hopefully it'll be easy. Hopefully. Um, open zip. Let's see, do I have any upgrades? No, not really. Uh, I need to... That's 30 out of 30 parts. Shit. Um, pressure readings. Sadly, I won't be able to collect that data out of that. Um, I'm assuming it costs a lot to upgrade the hangar. Yep, that is a lot of money right there. So I need to find another way to uh, acquire at least two more parts. Um... Maybe. Let's see what happens if I were to do that and remove that. That kind of fucks things up a little bit. Um, let's see, I know I have more aviation options, 
Delta Deluxe Wing. the only way that I'm going to get a lot of lift. <clears throat> Relative wing area to 0.5. So yeah, I'm going to draw the tail 0.61. Uh, control surface portion 100%. reduce these if I use the uh, AVR8 winglets. I don't know if they will work as well, but they might. I just know that they'll keep that from going too far back. It's not much, but it is something. I don't know how else to uh, fix that. It moves everything. just uh, changing mass, the center of mass. What about this? Uh, maybe. I don't know how important it is to have that really close. I know those wings are like really tiny. Maybe I can get rid of those, but I don't know what they... Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Can I undo? <laughs> Damn it. Move. And then let's take these off. And maybe I can add... surface area offers more lift than the AVR8 but small control surface area means not as quick to turn but it adds more uh, lift that might help I'm not sure but it gives me the slots that I need um, so I need to put two more barometers on here There we go. Now we will see if this actually will take off or not. If it doesn't, then... <laughs> well, shit. But if it does, then yay. There's only two options here. SAS. And well, that is preparing to take off. worked. Okay. Let's activate navigation. Um, I guess I will go for this one first. So I need to turn just a little bit. is difficult. There we 
go. Let's keep that open. How much farther am I? Not too much farther. Wait, was I just under one? Set. Uh, oh, that's where the third one was. Whoops, hiding under my compass. I'm trying to make it so I can see them all. <laughs> I was trying to like wibble, uh, wibble, waddle around. Okay, I might be going a little too high now. And I've entered it. Long pressure data. Next one is... Let's slow down a bit. Mm -mm. Oh wait. Activate navigation. full speed. I am not good at turning an aircraft, if you could not tell. I think you could, but I, I felt the need to tell you. I had to cough, so I muted myself. Let's stabilize. On that sure that I am not going to descend too much. We can speed up now. I am descending, but I don't think it's a lot. Yeah, it's starting to slow down. Now I'm going off a little bit of my target. So let's Try to turn just a tad. There we go. Oh, and log pressure data. And then the last one is over here. That's a barrel roll, not loop de loops. <clears throat> Fuck it, I think I could try doing a loop de loop. If I was able to do it in a helicopter on Arma, I think I can do it in this. Okay, maybe I can't. This is a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. What am I doing? Turn off my jets. And then. Make sure I'm pulling up enough. <clears throat> Sorry about all the miniature coughs. I hope that's not too annoying to all of you guys. If it is, well then shit, I'm gonna have to start whispering from now on. Which I should probably be doing because that one whisper video did get quite a bit of good feedback. And we are going off of our target just a tad. Jeez, I'm just a master at controlling airplanes, aren't I? You want me to pilot your flights? You'll 
know that you will get home in multiple pieces. In boxes, probably. And here we are, log pressure data. And now we can start making our way back. Activate navigation back to the space center. Do to do. up. Let's make sure I don't go too far down. There we go. Stabilize as much as I can while it's going at this speed. And take a drink. just over there. I'm gonna kill my engines. And I'm gonna see about trying to glide in. Maybe turning while gliding will slow me down enough. If not, then while well, I'm gonna crash, but I guess I'll uh, quick save right now. Turn my uh, thrusters on just a little bit. Thrusters, engines, jets, whatever. Just want to make sure that I can get over there. I am picking up quite a bit of speed, but I am dropping quite fast at the same time. see if I can just dramatically slow down. Aren't there, uh, one day I can get wind breaks, can't I? I think I've gotten to that point before. I might have cheated to get there, though. That or I cheesed my way through by doing that, uh, tourist thing. I gotta say, cheesing it is never uh, a good way to go if you want to have an enjoyable experience. <clears throat> and that's, you know, you're okay with cheating in video games. If you find joy in that, then more power to you. So long as it's in single player. Please, please, please avoid cheating in multiplayer games. Mm-mm. <clears throat> This is not looking too good for me. I'm hoping that I can just keep slowing it down by pulling back up over and over again. break. Well, mm -mm. I mean, besides my wings and jets, I was able to actually do it. In my opinion, that was a, su a success. Mm -mm. Pull down the brake more. Recover vessel. Mm -mm. I think I made a decent amount of money that way. Uh, yeah, 
I made a lot of money that way. I've made over a hundred thousand. I could upgrade. I'm never, I'm not gonna upgrade the tracking station yet. Patched uh, conics, visible in map, max DSN power. I don't know what that means. That would cost way too much. The only thing I'm really willing to upgrade right now is a tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. Oh man, damn it. Hmm, science data from the surface of moon. Ooh, a splashdown mission. That's a quick buck right there. I can do that to finish up this video. Actually, I might be able to do another mission right after that, depending on how quick it is. Uh, so I need a... I don't know if I'll need a fuel tank, but I know I'll need the Terrier. And a decoupler. And let's see, structural. I'm going to add a girder right here just to take any impact that there might be. And then a uh, flea. And right near the end, it wouldn't be one of my videos without being interrupted. I'm going to replace the structural, um, the, uh, girder for the structural fuselage. Uh, actually, that costs a significant amount more. Um, I kind of just wanted something for it to land on, but I suppose I could attach this once I land in the water. Uh, and some extremely cheap tail fins, basic fins. And a parachute. And then... Oh, I know, I'm gonna want the, par the parachute beforehand. Before all of that. <clears throat> and then let's just turn on SAS and go straight for the water. I'm just holding down the. that on. Speed time up. <clears throat> and then as I'm going down, disconnect that. Hopefully this will, I don't know how much of an impact it can handle. Good. Run test. There we go. Recover vessel. Do the do. Slowly made a little bit of science. Uh, Two hundred and forty-six thousand. We're getting there. Eventually, one science for each one thousand, twelve thousand, uh, one science for each. Yeah, it doesn't really change much based on. Well, yeah, that is uh, extremely insignificant. So I think it might be worth. Uh, 45,000 to start getting a little bit of science whenever I make a decent amount of money. 
Um, oh wait, no, that's a 0% commitment. I want a 1% commitment. Are you sure you want to activate this strategy? It can't be modified once activated. What do you mean it can't be modified? I can't cancel it or upgrade it. No, I can cancel it. I just, if I want to upgrade it, I have to cancel it. So, there we go. And on the surface, uh, no can do. What is that? Uh, we want to confirm some theories about this. Um, what's that uh, orange number about? I don't know what that orange number means. But, uh, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.